from the Computer Museum in Mountain View, California. It's the Cube covering ACG Silicon Valley Grow Awards. Brought to you by ACG Silicon Valley. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Jeff Frick here with the Cube. We're at the ACG SV. It's a mouthful. Association of Corporate Growth Silicon Valley Awards, the 14th annual. We've been coming here for about three years. We're really excited to have tonight's keynote speaker on, many time Cube alum, Pat Gelsinger, the CEO of VMware. Pat, great to see you. Great to be here, Jeff. Thank you so much. Always great to be on the Cube, and so many good friends from the Cube, and great interviews. We really enjoy you guys. Yeah, Thank you. And, and uh, we. Excited for VMworld later this year. We got Dell Technology World coming up next week. So, Just working uh, on my keynote this morning, we'll so see. almost ready oh, yeah, to go. Okay. So. <laughs> but you're going to keynote tonight, so what's your keynote tonight on? Well, tonight it's about tech as a force for good. And I'm going to talk about what I call the four superpowers today. You know, in the past we thought of superpower like, you know, USSR and the USA. Right, right. You know, today I believe superpowers are far more powerful and they're technology superpowers. And the four I talk about are mobile, unlimited right. reach, cloud, unlimited scale, AI, unlimited intelligence, and IOT bridging from the digital to the physical world. And how those four superpowers are reinforcing each other today. And literally, it's our opportunity to improve the quality of lives for every human on the planet as a result of those uh, superpowers. And really how it's our responsibility as a tech community to shape those superpowers for good. It's so good to talk about the for good because there's so much bad in the news lately about some of the stuff that's going on. And, and you know, it's the two sides of the same coin, always. You can use it for good or you can use it for bad, and unfortunately yeah. the bad's been in the news more than the good, but there's so many exciting things going on in medicine, healthcare, oh, yeah. agriculture, yeah. energy, that the opportunities are almost endless. Yeah, it really is, and as I say, uh, technology is neutral. It can be used for good or bad. The Gutenberg Press. The Bible or Playboy, it works yeah. for both. Yeah. And it really is our responsibility as a society, and I'll say even more so today as tech leaders, to be that force shaping those technological superpowers for good. You know, one of the statistics I'll cite in my keynote is in the last 50 years, we've taken the extreme poverty rate from over 40% to less than 10% on the planet, right? Just stunning that we've lifted two and a half billion people out of extreme poverty. You know, healthcare reach, we've increased the length of life by almost 20 years on the planet over the last 50 years. I mean, these are stunning things, and largely the result of the technological breakthroughs that we're doing. And as I say, today is the fastest day of tech evolution of your life. It's also the slowest day of tech evolution of the rest of your life. Of the rest of your life. Pretty interesting, and then, God, with 5G coming just around the corner, it really, you know, kind of thinking of a world with infinite bandwidth, infinite compute, infinite store, how do you start to design applications and distribution when you can have all that power? And as you said, with cloud, really at your disposal. You don't have to build it all yourself. You leverage companies like yeah. you guys to, to put it in place, and I as an entrepreneur don't have to build all that stuff That's anymore. right, it really is impressive that way, because today, you know, we've crossed over half the population of the planet has a persistent connection to the internet over some form of mobile or PC device. Half the population you can now reach right, over the internet. I mean, it's just stunning that way. Yeah. You can rent the world's largest supercomputer for a, world, a few thousand bucks, right? You know, it's just, you know, the scale that we're able to now conduct uh, business to be able to develop software, to reach customers, and truly, right, to change people's lives. Right. And you do a lot of work. I mean, I follow you on Twitter, and you're out in the community. You do a lot of stuff with your faith and, and outside of work to help people. As you see the power that you can bring to this technology, what are some of the inspiring stories that get you up every day when you do some yeah. of the stuff outside of your day job? It really is exciting. And uh, you know, one of the charities that my wife and I are very involved in is uh, called Missions of Hope International. They work in uh, the slums of Nairobi primarily. And we help to start schools there that literally today have over 15,000 kids in the schools that we help start. Uh, over the summer, I'm climbing Mount Kilimanjaro in July uh, as a fundraiser to build the next girls high school for those schools. As the girls get younger, they get pulled back into tribalism for you know five camels, they get married off at young ages, and keeping them in school so that they can really advance and become you know proper members of society versus drug and the tribalism. So that's one of my summer projects is uh, doing that. And you know, particularly in Kenya, we've been thrilled, things like M-Pesa, and we work with a company called Node Africa to deliver farming and agricultural services 
services, you know, the most basic things that give people market access, give people crop information, and literally are lifting people out of poverty right, in the country of Kenya today. Well, it's Pat's great work, and uh, like I said, follow Pat on Twitter. You're pretty active on there, doing oh, good thank work. You. And, thank uh, you. And we look forward to your keynote tonight, and we'll see you next week in Las Vegas. Look forward to it. Thank <laughs> you so much, Jeff. All right. He's Pat Gelsinger. I'm Jeff Frick. You're watching theCUBE from the ACGSV Awards. Thanks for watching.